Hi, I'm Rebecca Mojica from Linked Craft Kits by Nido. Today I'll be showing you how to make the bubble loops design into a bracelet or necklace. This is a really cool project because it's based on the historic European four-in-one weave. So if you think about medieval knights wearing mesh chain link shirts of armor, they're probably wearing the European four-in-one weave. European because, well, they're in Europe, and four-in-one because each single ring goes through four other rings. This project, Bubble Loops, is a level two crafter design. So if you haven't already tackled any of our level one apprentice projects, I highly recommend you do that before diving into this project. The kit includes enough materials to make five necklaces or five bracelets or any combination of the two, and it comes in lots of different colors. Before we get started, we need to take some measurements. So we're gonna use the linked ruler to measure your wrist. You can see that my wrist is in the diamond shape zone. So this shape tells me where I'm going to start the piece on the magic layout tool, right here in the diamond shape. If you're making a necklace, you can start at any of the shapes. The paper instructions included with the kit show how many rings you'll need based on your size. I'm gonna be using the same colors as in the instructions, so my bracelet will look like this. The colors in your kit may vary, but if it's your first time making this, I recommend you use the closest colors you can to what I'm doing. So for my diamond-shaped wrist, I'll be using 26 size A rings in the first color, in which my case is gold. These rings are called A1 on the instructions. The second color rings in size A are called A2, and I'm gonna use 15 turquoise rings. And then I'll use 13 B size rings in green, one size C ring in silver, and a clasp. Take a minute to count out the rings you need based on your wrist size. So you know, what we're gonna be doing is putting the rings in our patent pending magic layout tool. It's gonna look like this when we're done. My tool is red, your tool might be a different color, but they all work the same. And I realize this looks really different from what you think you're making, so I just wanted to show it to you now and show you that when you reach the end, you'll pull this out of the tool and then it will look like your bracelet. Okay, let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure to watch our how to open and close jump rings video before starting. You're gonna take two of your A1 rings and wiggle them closed. Put them in your tool. I'm starting with the diamond shape because that's where my wrist was sized. Open an A2 ring and go through both of the A1 rings and then close the ring. Repeat that with a B ring. Open, go through, and close. Take two new A1 rings and close them and insert them in the next slot. And here, make sure to just push them enough so they stay. Don't push them in with all your might because <laughs> the next step might be too hard. Now you're gonna take a new A2 ring, make sure you open it. And this is gonna go through all four of the A1 rings. So I'm gonna show this to you from the side because it might be a little easier to see what you're doing. So here, if you see this little eye that's been made by the rings, that's exactly where you want to thread your next two rings through. So remember at the beginning, I said it's called European four in one because each ring goes through four. So now we're gonna start that pattern. And this ring will go through four and close and 
Now I'll do that again with a B ring. And continue the pattern. Two more A1 rings. Insert them into the tool. Weave your A2 ring through four. Close it. And then the B ring goes through four. And close. And continue that all the way down to the end. The main part of your piece is now complete. To make a necklace, skip ahead. To add the clasp to the bracelet, get your C ring and open it and go through the two rings all the way at the very beginning. So it's an A2 ring and a B ring. Before you close it, add the clasp. On the other end, get two A2 rings and open them. First one goes through the two rings all the way at the end. So those two A1 rings. Close that ring and then add the next ring through the ring that you just added. Now, gently work your way down the tool, squeezing, wiggling slightly and pulling it up. Remember to check your rings to make sure that they're closed well and adjust any that are open slightly or misshapen. So here is the finished piece. Now, if your bracelet is too long, you don't have to attach it to the end ring. You can always attach it to a previous ring and that automatically makes it shorter. Or you could just take off those rings. Uh, and if your bracelet is too short, you can add rings to the end to make it longer and then just hook it on there. So that's the bracelet. Let me quickly now show you how to make the necklace. If you're making a necklace instead of a bracelet, it's just the finishing that's different. You'll still fill in the magic layout tool just like you did for the bracelet. For the ends, you'll need a few extra materials. You'll need two more A1 rings, four A2 rings, two pieces of chain, two C rings, and a clasp. Take a minute to get these supplies if you need. Open your two A1 rings and add them side by side at the beginning of the weave. They both go through the A2 and B ring that are already there. Next, open two of the A2 rings. Add one through a chain and close it. Then take a new ring, open it, 
go through the two rings you just added and that ring. And then close the ring. For the other side of the weave, open one of the A2 rings, add it to the chain and close it. Then open the second ring, thread it through, and go through both of the A1 rings at the end. Then close the ring. Open a C ring and add it through one end. Add the other C ring to the other chain. And before closing, go ahead and add the clasp. Carefully pull the necklace out, starting at one end and moving along the tool. And then check your closures, being sure to adjust and fix any rings that aren't quite lined up. When you clasp the necklace around your neck, you'll attach it to the C-ring. Your kit includes enough materials for five projects total, so when you're ready to make your next one, choose your favorite colors or match your personality based on the enclosed chart. There's so many beautiful combinations with this kit. I really love it and hope you do too. If this video was helpful, be sure to hit the like button. Till next time, have fun, get linked.